This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this 3D view, like in the 2D view, you can see we have a differentiation between the architectural model and the services. If we were to change the discipline to say coordination, everything has the same weight. Let's change that back again. So browsing this view is very similar to browsing the 2D view. But in the 3D view, we have the added benefit of the view cube. Clicking on any one of these faces will rotate the model to the orientation we want. We can also use the scroll wheel to pan. And with the scroll key held down, pressing the shift key will allow us to rotate the model. If we scroll in even more, you can see we have some unexpected results. The model doesn't rotate in the way that we'd want it to. Selecting any one element or any group of elements in this view and then doing the rotate gives us a new center of gravity. Let's try that again. And so gives us a lot more control over how we view the model. The use of 2D and 3D can really enhance your documentation. Take this call out of level 1. Here we have the beginnings of a detail. This would be placed on a sheet, but to enhance this and make the documentation set even more legible, we can use a 3D view. But this whole 3D view needs cropping to match the 2D view. This is where the view cube comes in handy again. Right click on the view cube, select Orient to View, Floor Plans, and then the Callout. This spins the whole model round and crops it by placing what is known as a section box around the model. If we spin the model, you can see that we now have a cropped view of the 3D model. Which can then join the 2D on the documentation set. We can select the section box and hide it in the view for even more clarity. And maybe even change the discipline. So looking at this, now everybody understands the design intent.